In math, we're learning different strategies we can use to add and subtract numbers. One game that you can play for addition practice is called Make 10. And what you do is um, you'll get a deck of playing cards. You can get two decks and put them together, or you can have one deck. And you're going to take out all of the face cards. But you're going to keep the 10s in there. And then you're also going to keep the aces, because the aces will be worth one. So then you shuffle up your deck, and then you're going to place your cards. You're going to place a top row of five. One, two, three, four, and five. And then a second row. One, two, three, four, and five. And then you are going to practice making 10. You can play this game alone, or you can play this game with a partner or partners. And the whole object is to practice making 10. You could make 10 with two cards. You can make 10 with one card, three cards, four cards, as long as you make 10. And so here I can see I can, the first person goes, I have a 10. 10 plus 0 is 10. So I'm going to take that and then I'm going to replace that card. The next person goes, I see 3 and 7. 3 and 7 is 10. Then I'm going to replace those cards. I also see 9 and 1. 9 and 1 makes 10. So we're going to replace that for those two. And then I look at my cards and I have um, let's say I have a 2 and then if I add 2 plus 1 that's 3 and 7 I can take those cards away that makes 10 and then I'm going to replace those cards and I see that I have a 6 I have a 6 and a 4 4 plus 6 is 10 I'm going to replace the cards. Then I have 6. 6 and 3 is 9. I don't have a 1 here. I have, oh, I have 5 plus 5. I can add those two together to make 10. So you keep replacing the cards as you take them away and taking turns making 10. Then if you get to a point and you look here, I know I can make 10 with 3 and 7. I have that here. I know I have 6 and 4. I know that I can make 10. But let's just pretend that all of these cards, we're at, we are stuck and we can't make 10. If that happens, you're going to put cards on top, on top of all 10 cards, just like this. Okay? And now you can play again. So if I, ha I have a 10, I can take the 10 away, and then 3 and 7 for the next person. I'll put another card here. If I look here, I have 3 plus 1, that is 4. And do I have a 6? No, but I have a 3 and a 7. I can do that, replace the card. I see it in 8 plus 2, that equals 10. So on and so forth. So, Play this game with your child. It's a lot of fun and it's great fact fluency practice.